Well, Ramisha, just as generators move to the top of the to-do list after that hurricane, a host of Houstonians are now just trying to figure out how to keep their internet on in severe weather in the wake of barrel blasting through the Bayou City. Yeah, a lot of people trying to figure that out. And Fox 26's Domily Keith is joining us live with a couple of options that you might want to consider. Domily. Hey there, Rashi and Caroline. Yeah, if you didn't lose lights or internet when Barrel hit Houston, count yourself lucky. Take a look at this. This is from Centerpoint Energy. And according to Centerpoint, more than 1,100 people are without power right now. And power has been restored to more than 27,000 people in just the last 24 hours. Now here at Capital Flag Company, it was the internet that seemed to stay out forever. Phone lines, internet, everything was down for a solid two weeks and then the last half a week or so it's been sporadic on off on off and it keeps blipping back home and goes right back off so I'm not the only one that's dealing with this ordeal so all the business owners in the area you guys were calling one yes day. yes this is just the final straw I mean we, we, we can't be down for three weeks that's that's unreasonable it's hard to say how much business we've lost tech expert Juan Guevara Torres says when service from your home or business internet provider fails there are two other internet options that would likely still work in severe weather you want to make sure you have a 5G hotspot at home. Any carrier will give you one. Or you can have satellite internet via Starlink. We are changing to, my son's doing it, um, Starlink for a main line, I believe is what it is, and then um, a T-Mobile backup. Well, I went to T-Mobile, went and got uh, one of their home and business hotspots, so that's currently running our network just to get at least internet so we can start answering emails and trying to help customers. So essentially, the hotspot is a little tower, okay, and uh, it connects to the cellular network and brings you internet via Wi-Fi. With Starlink, one of the things that it is very convenient, it's going to work very well. The speeds could be, uh, you know, slow or fast depending on where you are in terms of coverage because it's satellite internet. But depending on how thick are the clouds, you know, you might lose connection. So I'll have two different internet sources so that It'll, it'll come into one main box, and if one goes down, the other one will still work, and vice versa. So it'll be a redundant system, and we should never have an issue to this extent again. And if you're thinking about selecting some internet options, the parishes here at Capital Flag Company say the business hotspot is costing them about 60 bucks a month, and the internet, the satellite internet, is costing around $120. And so those are a couple of things you might want to consider. They also say that the internet, the satellite internet, comes with a few more uh, hardware costs, so you may want to check with the company for that. But they did say they're saving a little bit of money by doing the installation themselves. Reporting live, I'm Don. Emily Keith, Fox 26 News.